Howdy y'all. So I have reorganized my little back room. I call it my tiny place. This is the little back room that I use for my crafty stuff. Now this couch was on this wall uh, and I moved it in anticipating getting a twin size bed that I'm going to put over here. Um, I'm probably going to scoot the couch down some and then just put that bed in this corner up against the wall there. That way when I have a house guest they don't have to sleep on this futon which is fine for sitting on and not so fine for sleeping on. And when I got sick and had to kind of quarantine myself back here um, it was really uncomfortable. So I'm just going to put a bed right here in this area and uh, that way if we have a guest or for some reason need to use this room we can do so. So I rearranged the paintings on the wall a little bit to kind of uh, condense them down and scoot them over. You can see that shelf isn't exactly over the couch so I kind of did the pictures around to kind of make it look better without moving that shelf. And then I left this wall blank. Oh watch out baby. Who is that? Oh it's Marina. Watch out sweetheart. Uh, I left this wall blank so that we can um, hang artwork over here because this is kind of our dry, drying wall after we create paintings we'll hang them up on that wall for a little while. So the reason why I'm in here is because I wanted to show you that I cleaned out my crafty closet. Man this was a hot mess. I, I should have done it before and after but um, Frankly, I was embarrassed. It was terrible. The cats had got in here and torn up a bunch of tissue paper and made a big, terrible mess everywhere, but I have got it all sorted now. So, uh, this container and that bag are actually empty, so I can use those for, you know, when I acquire more things or whatever. And then I've got yarn down there, and then I have more yarn in these bags and most all of this stuff almost everything in this closet has been given to me uh, the boxes the bags the everything the beads uh, almost all of it was given to me so I've got some stuff over here just like for wrapping packages and mailing and stuff like that here's a cute picture that Virginia got me I think she got this at the secondhand store she just uh, got it for me so that I could use the canvas if I wanted it to, but I like it, so I'm keeping it. I'm putting it in here. I also have this little thing in here. This little... Hey guys, can y'all see me? Hi. <laughs> okay, so up there I have my sewing kit, and then I have all my bead boxes lined up vertically like this so that if I want some clear beads, I can just take them or if I want some blue beads, I can just take them and I don't have to unstack anything. Before, I had them turned the other way where they were stacked up and this is much better. Then I have some findings and stuff here. And not everything's in here because some of my stuff is in the, uh, in the paint room where I've been working on stuff. This is all my stickers and notebooks and stationery and pens, pencils, writing utensils. And I've got all my fabric in here that I've been keeping, I've been making masks with, although I have to admit I quit making masks because the store-bought ones are way more comfortable. But since Vaughn's given me a sewing machine, I may start making masks again. Uh, it looks like we still do need them. So I was really pretty proud of the neat organizational skills that I used in here. Now see this is why I can't keep anything nice. This right here. Vince, now you know better. Get down little precious angel. Get down. Okay. All right you guys. I gotta get out of here before he destroys all my hard work. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on sweetie. Come on baby. Get out of here. All right, so that's my clean and organized crafty closet. So thanks for joining me. Y'all be sweet.